أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة الزمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم فادخلوها وقالوا الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعدا وأورثنا الأرض نتبوأ من الجنة حيث نشاء فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافين من حول العرش وترى يسبحون بحمد ربهم وقضي بينهم بالحق وقضي بينهم بالحق وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم For obvious reasons I've recited these verses There's a few times Jannah, heaven was, was mentioned in these beautiful verses of the Quran and then again, we spoiled for choice which verses do we choose of this glorious Quran. There's always a verse that's appropriate to our lives. This is the Quran. It stands the test of time, before time and even after time, inshallah. But just by way of brief translation, just to get a glimpse of the English. As you can see, there's a very passionate when, when we're reciting these verses. So I'm sure you are curious to know what is the meaning of these beautiful verses. Well, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And those who feared their Lord, they will be gathered in crowds, in crowds. And they will be gathered in crowds until, behold, they would arrive there at the gates of heaven. And the gates of heaven will be opened and its keepers of the gates of heaven, they will make an announcement and they will say, you have done well, come, enter into these gates for you have done well.
Do you know what those crowds and their response will be to the keepers of heaven? In fact, those keepers will greet those crowds with Assalamu Alaikum. Don't you hear that often from the lips of the Muslims? The keepers of heaven will greet you with Assalamu Alaikum. Come, you have done well. And the, and the crowds will respond accordingly. Peace be upon you, you have done well. Enter in here and dwell here forever. And what will we say, inshallah? I say we as if I'm assuming that we are amongst those crowds. One thing we can be sure, Abid is definitely amongst those crowds. And all those that we have lost in this world, we pray that we are amongst those in those crowds. Peace be upon you, you have done well and you have fulfilled, Allah has fulfilled His promise upon us and has given us this land in heritage and so that we may dwell in these gardens as we will, as we wish. And how excellent a reward for those who are righteous. Now the question is, what is righteous? What is righteousness? Believing in Allah, the oneness of God. Believing in the prophets and the books and the angels and the afterlife. And giving charity. And not only giving charity, but looking after the orphan and your kin. And anyone who needs it. And the wayfarer. This is being righteousness. So we have to measure ourselves. How righteous are we being if we want to be amongst those crowds? And in conclusion, the verse... And thou will see, we will see the angels surrounding the arsh, the, the, the throne of Allah. And they will be praising him from all sides, glorifying him. And the decision between them and judgment will be in perfect justice. And the cry from all sides, can you imagine this? The cry from all sides will be, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. I want to leave you with one quote. You know, goodbyes are for only those who love with the eyes. Goodbyes are only for those who love with the eyes. But for those who love with the heart, and those who love with the soul, there is no such thing as separation. This is a quote of Rumi. The beautiful, famous poet. So we have to, when we love, let's not just look at the superficial reasons we love. Let's go deep. Let's come alive. Let our hearts be illuminated. And that's how we love. That's how we serve. And that's how we be righteous. So with those few words, I bid you farewell and have an amazing evening, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.